The NWACP is issuing a travel advisory for the state of Florida due to various policies passed by Ron DeSantis. ACP has issued a travel warning for Florida, calling the policies of Governor Ron DeSantis hostile to minority communities. As CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal reports, it comes just days before Governor DeSantis is expected to announce his run for president. A warning for those traveling to the Sunshine State ahead of Memorial Day weekend after the Governor Ron DeSantis's policies clash with the NAACP. DEI more appropriately stands for discrimination, exclusion, and indoctrination, and that has no place in our public institutions. Unless you're discriminating, discriminating against trans people or gay people or black people or excluding them or indoctrinating kids with Christianity because that's everything Ron DeSantis stands for. It's words like these that are causing an uproar. And now the governor's actions, the NAACP says, only means Florida has become, quote, hostile to black Americans and is in direct conflict with the democratic ideals that our union was founded upon. Political expert Basil Smeichel. The NAACP is saying that the state does not support you, does not support uh, the, the care and concern that you have for your family or your future. Just last week, Fort Myers High School students walked out of class in protest of the governor's plans to eliminate diversity programs. Now the NAACP is fighting back after Governor DeSantis rejected access to AP African American studies in colleges. Being able to learn history is so important. Why, why is he banning? Uh, 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 African American studies in college, like what adults can't choose to learn something that they want. Point so that we don't repeat it. Experts say the governor's agenda could have repercussions. He's doing it in a way that we haven't seen a governor use that kind of power in a very long time. The sports venues, the concert venues, will they lose economic support because they've lost African American support as a result of? This, this movement. And as the anger flares, local mayors are trying to reduce the divide, tweeting, everyone is always welcome, and diversity and inclusion are central to what makes Tampa. All of this comes as Governor DeSantis is gearing up to announce his run for president as early as this week. The long-term impact is both economic and political in the hopes that this move can actually reshape the politics of the state in the long run. The League of United Latin American Citizens and Florida's largest LGBTQ civil rights group, Equality Florida, have also issued travel warnings for the state. We reached out to Governor DeSantis' office for comment, but did not hear back. In the newsroom, Naveen Dhaliwal, a 